This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. This is the lemon squeeze app you worked on earlier in the unit. Yes, we did. It has repeated blocks of code that should be replaced by a function. Perfect. This is exactly what a function can be used for, right? Instead of writing something over and over again, you all, you put it in a block, right? Or a chunk of code, you give it a name and you just ask it to run. Look inside the event handler for lemon and lime to find the repeated code. Replace the repeated code block, the repeated blocks of code with a single function called update screen that you declare. Don't be scared of all these words. Declare means make once, right? So I'm going to go down here and quote unquote declare. Let's demystify that. This is declare or define a function. This is calling it. When you just say the name, right? It looks like this. When you just say the name of the function, you're calling it. You're calling it to run. You're saying, hey, box of code over there, my function, run. This is where you put the code for that function. Okay. Let me separate these out a bit just so it's easier to read. All right. So replace the repeated blocks of code with a single function update screen. Okay, that's my function name there. And now I put the code I want. Let's see what's getting repeated though. So here is lime and here is lemon. Let's go boop and boop. We're looking for repeated quote code. So Lemon has score plus score. Nope. What about set property? Set property lemon, set property lemon, set property lemon, set property. And what about score? Is score the same? So they'd have to score, score lives. Yep, that looks the same. Now notice lives equals lives minus one. Nope, that's not the same because this adds, this is checking out your score, adding to your score and checking it. So we can only use in the function stuff is that is the same. But this stuff, is. So I'm going to click, drag, and drop it in here. All of that code. And now I'm close enough too that I can show you again. Right here, score, score, lives, lives, score, score, lives, lives, 50, 300, 50, 300, lemon, lemon, 50. So all of that's the same, which means bye bye. I can get rid of all this. Okay. Because now I'm going to have. Right, I'll do that again. I'm going to get rid of all of this lines 56 through 61. And now I'm going to use my function call here. Right there. If yours doesn't have that, I'm not sure when I added that, but I can just drag it right now. Okay. And I want to say update screen because this will do the exact same thing, except now instead of having all of that code right there, it just looks for something named update screen. So when I run this now, say I click on the lime or I hover over it. Is this the click one or hover? Regardless, oh, mouse over it. It will play the sound. I'll lose a life, then update screen. What does that do? The computer says, oh, what's the, oh, here it is. And it runs all of this code. The code that was the exact code that used to be here, right? We just put the code that used to be here, which was the exact code also here in this function. And that's because both times, whether you got the lemon or the lime, remember, the game moved the lemon and lime. Because either way, you needed to move them to a new position. So this was the exact same code. So we moved that movement code, that stuff that was the exact same, into a function called update screen, which will run now. So we mouse over lime, our lives decrease, and the computer hits update screen. Oh, what's that? Smack. Oh, okay, I got to run this. It sets this property for the lemon, moving x, moving y, moving lime x and y sets the score and the lives, hits the bottom and says, oh, oh, okay, I'm done. Now, where was I called? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I finished that line. I ran that function and it just keeps going. Same with this. It hits this code, looks for the function, runs it, goes back up here and says, oh, I'm done. This is all. Okay. So let's give this a try. Oh, I don't, do I have my name in here? Is it, oh, I have it up here. If you forgot your password, <laughs> I forgot. If we, you forgot your password, it's up here. Sour power. I love lemon. All right, let's try. Boom. 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 And see, it works just fine. And we have a function doing the heavy work. Functions are super important in computer science because it lets you be lazy 
And it's good, right? You don't, if you're repeating a bunch of code, you're doing too much work. You don't need to do that in computer science. And we're going to see more ways, I guess, to be quote unquote lazy. But this is really powerful, really important stuff. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.